Hello friends, I hope that you are well. I am sailing this week with med sailors around Croatia. I'm doing the discovery route and in this video I wanted to just give you a tour of our catamaran boat because it is amazing and slightly different from last year if any of you saw the boat tour that we did in Greece. And I'm also going to be doing a swimwear collection because it's been very highly requested but I really don't have enough swimwear to make it its own video so it's going to go in this one and I hope that you enjoy. Let's start here in the indoor area. This is where we have the kitchen, the stove where everything gets cooked. What I really like about this stove is that it actually moves like this and that's so we go with the waves of the boat and it basically means that if the boat is really rocking your, your coffee, your tea is not going to spill, the kettle's not going to spill because it just levels itself out which is very advanced technology. And then in here we have the fridge. So we can bring our own drinks on board, we can bring all of our own food on board. Med sailors do provide us with breakfast and lunch and lovely Skipper Sam cooks that for us. But if we want to bring any extra snacks, any alcohol, we can bring that all on board. Karen and I got ourselves a big box of goon and some Sprite to make like wine spritzes. That's our drink of the week and we quite like it, it's quite nice. We just got some fruit, some crisps, some biscuits other little bits and bobs. I personally get mostly full from the breakfast and lunch that we get given anyway, but it's nice if you do get a little peckish just to have some extra things. So if you're going on a med sailors tour and you're wondering what to buy at the supermarket, just any little snacky bits which you might like to nibble on in between meals. And also the lovely indoor sitting area, which is really nice and spacious. So there's only six of us guests on the boat and then we've got one skipper. So seven of us all together, but we really easily fit around this table. Also so in this indoor section, we have the electricals area. This is where we can plug in our phone into an aux cable, play some music throughout the boat if we want to. We can also charge our things here, but they charge very, very slowly. So I'm gonna come back to that a little bit later. And then if you turn around, Karen, we have got the outdoor sitting area, which I'd say we spend probably most of the time eating brekkie here, or sometimes brekkie indoors. Lunch here, some reading them lying down. As you can see, we've got all of our floaties here. A bit deflated at the moment. How it works with med sailors is that they allow you to purchase or rent a floaty. So guests who have come before you will rent a floaty at the start for like five euros and then you get to use it for the week and then recycle it for the next guests who will be coming. And that's just Med Sailor's way of making sure we're reducing our plastic, it's not getting thrown away. And that money that you spend on the floaties actually goes towards a charity to clean the ocean. So Med Sailors are really doing as much as they can to help our environment, which is amazing. And they also give us tote bags as we check in so that when we go shopping, we're not picking up plastic bags along the way. We can put everything in there and just doing our best to be as sustainable and kind to the environment as they can. Also out here, we have Skipper Sam on the steering wheel of the boat. What is it called? It's called the steering wheel. It's called the steering wheel. The helm. The helm. What else is happening up here, Sam? Well, we've got a few boats going on around here, you know. I'm just heading on a course forwards, you know. We're going to have a nice anchorage up for lunch and then we're going to head into Vobroshka tonight. So, yeah, we've got a lot to look forward to. Vabroshka. Also outside here on the shaded deck, you can lift up this little device and in here we've got a bunch of masks, snorkels and fins, uh, which is really, really nice if you want to do something a little bit more than just lay on a floaty or move around a little bit faster, be a fish and all that. Now let me show you downstairs. So Karen and I are actually in exactly the same bedroom and place as we were on the last trip. We have four bedrooms on this boat, so we've got two on this side we're at the back of the boat and then on the other side we've got two over there as well and we have two bathrooms which is amazing because it's not really what you would expect on a small boat like this in here we have the bathroom the shower and toilet is all in one so the shower we've got on the right hand side here more spacious than you'd actually expect and then the sink we use as a shower. The toilet is the same situation as last year. You do your business in here. Uh, we make sure we don't throw our toilet roll down the toilet, that goes in the bin. And then we have a pumping system here. So I won't show you right now, but basically you flick the switch, you pump it a bunch of times, which brings the water into the bowl, and then 
you flick it the other way, you start pumping again, and then that flushes the water out, as well as all of your business. Moving on, this is Karen and I's bedroom. Again, really, really spacious. I guess when you assume that you're gonna be living on a boat, you think you're just gonna be in this tiny little hole. And this is our getting ready space, which yes, there's not too much room there, but once you're on the bed, very, very spacious. I would actually say it's like a queen size. Would you? Yeah. Karen and I are top to tailing. So this one, this is my space. And then, and then Karen sits, goes with her head there. We've got the fan just here. So Karen gets it on her whole body. I kind of get it just on my chest area, but that's good enough for me. We have our wardrobe space in here. So when we do arrive on the boat, we unpack all of our things. There's a space where we can hang it up, but there's also some cubby holes for the things that are folded. We keep our suitcases up on the top here. Well, Karen's is up there. Mine's just a bunch of shit. And then my suitcase is on the floor. My suitcase did used to be up there. And what we also have in this room is charging. Now, we can only charge our things in this room when we are attached to a charging docking station. I'm sure there's a different name for that, which we have most nights. There's only two nights which we don't get to do that, so we need to plan ahead, just make sure that everything's charged for those nights. What is also really super fun about this room is that we have two windows going directly out to the sea. So this is the first thing that we see in the morning. We wake up and we can just look out directly into the ocean. We can see what the weather's like that day. We can see what the scenery's like. And also this year we have a little one here as well, which goes out into the middle of the boat. So we can see the middle of the catamaran here and just the water floating past. And then our final window is this one up here. And this takes us straight out to the dock. So I'm gonna go up here and I'll meet you up there. And now we're out back with everyone else. Let's go and head out into the front. It was at this exact moment last year that I had a wedgie and, I, and nothing's changed. It is a bit overcast today and that's why we've decided to film this video today. Normally when we're sailing, this is where everyone on the boat is because it is so nice just to relax on the Tramp. This is actually called the Tramp. Last year it wasn't bouncy and this year it actually is. Though I don't think we are recommended to actually bounce on it. And I've been trying to do some handstands on here. This is where the anchor gets pulled up. So Sam will often tell us that we need to open this up and we help him bring the anchor up and down. We do often get asked to help out with many of the, the sailing logistics. I still have absolutely no idea what's going on when we get asked to do this and how to go about helping. But I try, I do try. As you can see, we have our paddleboard here. This does need to be pumped up. It's, it's not like rock solid. So we pump that up on a daily basis. And that's really nice just to go on excursions away from the boat. When we've got the floaties as well, like we'll head out on the floaties and on the paddleboard. What else is there, Karen? The sail, which we only put up some of the time. Sounds really cool. He, he lets us, if we want to drive the boat, if we want to learn how to sail and just more about how to sail, we can. I don't. I just like to be a lady of leisure on men's sailors. I'll be honest. But that is an option. If you do want to learn how to sail and want to have a go at steering the boat, then the skippers are really good at allowing you, letting you to do that. And I think that's it. I think that's everything to kind of mention on our catamaran boat tour. Um, so since I am in a bikini every single day on this boat, I thought it would be the perfect time to show you my bikini collection because I get asked about it all the time, but I never feel like I have enough to have its own video. So it's gonna be in this video. So starting with this lovely kind of mint, greeny blue sky bikini. I actually got this quite recently when I was in Bali from Billabong. I really, really like it because it's supportive and it's like got this really nice textured material. What I don't like so much about this one is how the bottoms are like not too high waisted. So it means that I do get a bit of me, uh, me muffin top hanging over the edge, but that's okay. They are slightly more reserved on the bottom area. It makes it a really good bikini to do some sport in. I definitely say that this one is my favorite bikini, probably just because of the cut of it, but this is one of my mix and match one so this white top I got from Zara last year and then the purple bottoms are high leg high waisted I got them from ASOS really recently and I have these in black as well which you'll see very shortly 
and they're my absolute favourite bottoms because they just come up high waisted so they cover your muffin top and they just kind of cut you in all the right areas. These bottoms look really weird when they're off, they're like this massive triangle shape, they look like they're just not going to work but when they're on they just kind of stretch to fit over your shapes in the right areas. I tend to wear this white top with these lilac bottoms and I think it works quite well. This top also works really well like underneath clothing as a bra and stuff because I like the fact that it's it's supportive enough that it kind of keeps my sisters together but it has this thin <laughs> don't laugh at that but it has this thin strap so it looks good to be under other strappy tops which as a bigger breasted woman it is harder to find tops which like have just the strappy sleeves because often they're not supportive enough so yeah I really like this one this is exactly the same bikini as the one that you've just seen but obviously just different colors so these are the black version of those bottoms from ASOS again just you know high-waisted really flattering I really really like them and this top is the same from Zara but in pink and I quite like the black and pink combo I think it's just always good to have like a solid black pair of bikini bottoms because then you can pretty much pair it with any top and it's gonna go well these black bikini bottoms are also from ASOS they're very similar to the other ones but they're just a little bit less coverage so as you can see these ones don't come up to my belly button they're a little bit thinner on the sides but they are still high leg high waisted so they are still quite flattering just a little less coverage so if I was having a fat day I probably wouldn't want to wear these ones and I paired it with a tiger lily swimwear top which I got from Australia a couple of years ago I really really like this one because it's fun and it's my only like kind of triangle shaped bikini top but actually is still supportive like I can jump in the ocean with this and I'm not gonna fall out which is quite revolutionary for me it's also just fun because it's like multicolored. I feel like it represents my style quite well or it's, it's it's very me now I have these exact same bottoms also in pink so this is what they look like off they're a bit of a funny shape going back to those other bottoms which you've seen this is what they look like off they look really bizarre it's, it's hard to know which even way is up there, look at that! Look at the shape of those! What are those? What are those? When these arrived in the post the other day, I honestly I just saw them and I thought, what on earth? But then as you saw what you saw what they looked like on. What are those? <laughs> So this bikini you've probably seen quite a lot. I wore it all the time in the Philippines. I bought it in Australia. Uh, right at the end of last year. It's from Billabong and I like it because it's like my sportiest bikini. I can jump up and down in this one, I can jump in the water and nothing's gonna fall out. It's pretty sturdy and also the colour means that if I get it dirty you're not really gonna see it. So this is just kind of like what I like to think of as my industrial bikini. <laughs> like I can wear it through anything and it's just gonna bring me through. It's a really good one to go backpacking in really because you just know that it's gonna last you the long haul. Obviously because it's Billabong it's not the cheapest but I definitely think that these kind of bikinis are worth the investment. Again, I really like the fact that the bottoms are high-waisted so they cover up the bits that I want to be covered. Uh, I think that it's quite flattering on the cut of the bottom. It just keeps me boobs together quite well and all round I just think it's an all round good bikini but not great for tanning in this one so I haven't been wearing this one as much on this trip this is the last bikini that you're gonna see it's probably my least favorite in terms of how flattering it is that's mainly because of the bikini bottoms these ones are not high-waisted so they cut in at a bit which I don't want them to cut in at overall with this bikini I just really like the pattern on it this like pastel shaded stripe pattern and it's also got this cute little frill detail as well this one's from rip curl the top is pretty good in terms of like doing sport in it you could probably see a trend here i really like the ones that are, are like this kind of sporty shape mostly just because i feel the most secure in them uh, it's not fun as a bigger breasted lady when you're wearing something quite flimsy and you're just falling out the whole time so this is what it looks like from the back but I will often pair this top with some of my other ASOS bottoms. Bought it as a whole piece because I did like it, but it's just, yeah, not my favorite for like a flattering fit. And to conclude today's swimwear collection, we have the one and only swimsuit that I've actually bought on this trip. I was gonna bring more, but then, 
you know, with med sailors, you're tanning most of the time and you don't really want to be wearing a swimsuit and covering up your belly because I want to get a tanned belly. This is definitely my favorite swimsuit that I own. It's from Rip Curl. You will have seen it before if you've been watching for a while. I just love the pattern that's on it. I love the cut. I think it's really flattering. It's also um, double-sided or whatever you call that way. You can, oh, reversible. It's reversible. So I can flip it inside out and then it's just this like, this blue, uh, this blue pattern on the inside. This is a great one that I can do sport in as well because it keeps me in quite nicely. I think if it is made by Rip Curl or Billabong or one of these surf brands, you know that it's gonna be pretty good for sport because obviously they're made for surfing. So. And that's all of the swimwear that I brought on this trip and pretty much all the swimwear that I wear in general. So that's all that I've chosen to show you. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video. I'm gonna carry on sailing with med sailors and I'm having the best week ever. Um, there's more to come of this med sailors trip. So you can look forward to that and I will see you in the next video. Bye.